Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. Welcome to my MySQL course. This is a course that takes you right from the absolute basics of MySQL all the way up to pretty advanced. So hopefully whether you, you're learning this from scratch and you just have some basic computing knowledge or whether you already know some MySQL and you want to improve your knowledge and maybe learn about transactions and store procedures and that sort of thing. Hopefully this is the course for you. So in this introductory video, I just want to talk a little bit about what MySQL actually is. So MySQL, um, it's technically it's a database management system, although we often refer to it as just a database. But really it's a database management system and it's, it's some software that can manage a collection of databases. So uh, SQL is actually, it actually stands for Structured Query Language. So Structured Query, that's a very unhelpful spell check I've got here. Structured Query Language. And SQL is the language that you use to issue commands to relational databases like MySQL. So in the, in the next video, we're going to be look at what, looking at what you have to download. But if I search for MySQL downloads here, and let's maybe check this page, MySQL community downloads, we're going to be installing the MySQL community server. And we're also going to be installing something called the MySQL workbench. And they're cross-platform. I'm using a Mac, but they're fine on Windows or Linux as well. So why is it called a community server? Well, um, a, a database is, is actually a collection of tables. So in a database, you store data in tables. At least this is true in a, in a relational database like MySQL. So um, MySQL is this database management system that manages a bunch of different databases. Each one you can give a name to and you can add tables to it and add data to those tables. But the database management system needs some way of allowing you to communicate with it. So what happens is it runs, uh, there's, there's some software that runs continuously as what we call a server. In fact, if I look at my installation of MySQL, I can see down here somewhere we've got a program called MySQL D. And that's a program that's uh, now running continuously on my system. And it's a server, which means that if I go to a URL, uh, let's go to localhost, and the default URL is, is uh, the name of the machine that the server is running on, and the port 3306. So via this URL, we can communicate with the database. If I actually go to it, uh, we don't get anything useful. In, in my case, it seems to have downloaded something. That's because uh, the server is, is not producing data in a format that my browser, my web browser, understands. It's, it's producing data and accepting data in a format that's understood by uh, what we call clients or MySQL clients that connect to this server, which is a database management system. So an example of a, a MySQL client would be the PHP MyAdmin program, which you, you may be familiar with. And we've also got another example of such a program right here. It's the MySQL program. So in here, in my installation of MySQL, there's a program that's just called MySQL. And that's a program that I can use on the command line if I want to, to connect to my running server, my running database management system. And I can use this program to issue commands to MySQL uh, in a language called SQL, Structured Query Language. Now in this course, we're gonna be using a client called the MySQL Workbench. And this is a really nice sort of fully featured tool that as we'll see, it also allows you to design databases visually. But uh, one thing we can do is we can just connect and then we can see what databases we've got already. So I've already created a, a bunch of databases at this point. And we can use particular databases and we can see what tables are in those databases. Don't worry about memorizing these commands because we're going to see them as we go through the course. And I can see what um, I can see what data is in these tables. And this command is an example of SQL structured query language. 
uh, and we'll be looking at that in this course. So in, in a nutshell, we've got this program, which uh, is a database management system. It manages databases, which are collections of tables containing data, and it's also a server. And the fact that it's a server allows client programs like the MySQL Workbench here to communicate with it. And we can then issue commands using SQL structured query language. Okay, so in the next video, we'll look at what we have to install to get started with all this stuff. MySQL is, is a great database to learn. You can install it even on a, you know, a small old laptop. It will run pretty well usually. Um, it's, so it's, it's relatively lightweight. You can store like huge amounts of data in it as long as you've got disk space and enough memory to cope with all this software, which most computers will have. And uh, because it's free, because the community edition is free, uh, it's not restricted in any way and it's very powerful. Because of that, uh, probably the majority of websites in the world use MySQL to store their data. Uh, like it's something like a utility company or a bank is, is going to stump up a lot of hard cash for uh, probably for Oracle and also for um, like live support with Oracle. Uh, so uh, something that's got to be ultra secure may not use MySQL. But then again, there's no reason probably why it couldn't. It's, it's just a matter of maybe getting some support with Oracle. And Oracle is just the established kind of big database in the field. But um, MySQL is used for all kinds of things, you know, all kinds of needs uh, for online applications. If you want to make a social network or, you know, you want to just have a like a WordPress uh, website or something that just stores data, MySQL is a, is a really good choice of database, very, very widely used. Okay, so I'll shut up and we'll get on in the next video to actually installing some software here. So until next time, happy coding.